in our uh, in the past few weeks that I think I really need to speak to. And it is not because of uh, any particular uh, visceral reaction personally to the, to the news, but to the emotional aspect. There are a lot of things that have built up where we are at the moment. Uh, the tensions uh, based on us, uh, how do we say it, uh, being limited to being at home for an extended uh, amount of time. That does elevate stress in, in many people. So that is a, that is a launching pad things, but that does not diminish uh, some policies that disproportionately affect minorities. Now, as I sit here, I keep thinking of reactions both from the protesters and from those who are against the, the protesters. And we seem to miss one element in the entire discussion. And that is this element of humanity. Now, when I say we miss that, it is not her saying that it is intentional that people, no matter who they are, when you try to persuade somebody in your position, it is almost always going to backfire if you try to use coercive tactics. Black Lives Matter uses a, is it's a movement that is, uh, uh, from my understanding, a peaceful protest group that pretty much um, eliminates the idea of using violent tactics. Those of you who may think that Antifa and, uh, and uh, Black Lives Matter uh, are the same, they are not. Antifa does not, does not discourage violent or dangerous acts. Black Lives Matter does discourage it. And I'm going to actually point out on my own video, um, The, uh, the truth of this. Now, I'm going to read something out. Now, this is from the BBC. So, I want you to know that before coming up to conclusions. I'm going to use, go to the BBC article that uh, said seven things you need to know about Antifa. Then I'm going to go over to Black Lives Matter and I'm going to explain to you what them. And this uh, number six in their, their lineup from the BBC article. Their willingness to use violence marks out Antifa from many other left-wing activists. Although Antifa members we spoke to said they denounce the use of weapons and violent direct action, they said violence does occur and it's as a form of self-defense. They also make historical arguments to justify their position. For instance, they ask if 
what if opponents of German Nazi had been more forceful in their opposition in the 1930s? Um, that argument makes no sense. Let me point out why. The U.S. abstained from going into World War II because of the violence. They did not want to subject their soldiers to that violence and had to be persuaded by the British to enter. We were just going to originally, after Pearl Harbor, just go after Japan. But we actually had to be peacefully persuaded to enter World War II. So just imagine if we were forced how less likely we would have entered and helped quell that injustice. That is where that argument falls flat on its face. This is at a war time, not at just at a not peace time, at a war time. So, now, I could use Black Lives Matter uh, web uh, portal to talk about them, but I want to do the same thing. I did with the uh, with um, the um, excuse me with the Antifa thing. I don't want you to see it from a internal thing. I want you to see it from an external. Point. So I'm actually looking for an article right now. I'm going through, this is a CBC Kids News thing. trying to find uh, the uh, now the 
Black Flag's a matter of movement. I'm actually going to use their what, the, what we believe thing from their website. I can't find too, too much, but here's their actual statement. Four years ago, what we know as the Black Lives Matter Global Network began to organize and start out as a chapter-based member-led organization whose mission was to build local power and, and to intervene when violence was inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilantes. Be very, very, be very aware of that second thing. That's regular citizens targeting These years since we committed to struggling together, imagine creating a world free of anti-blackness where every person has the social and economic power to thrive. There's a lot of uh, a lot more I can say, but uh, we can see a very good reason for such an organization to exist in the actions of many, and I mean strongly, many organizations. I do not always agree with the methods uh, personal that are that you get used. But I do agree, something must be done. We must find a way to stand in solidarity with our minority groups and actually push for this change. We must not tolerate violence of any kind or vandalism. And I see something that I saw something that really shocked me. I can understand the heartache, but I'm gonna say this kindly. Those of you who are Black Lives Matter protesters if you want your stuff, your message to be respected and not to be cleaned up, don't tag buildings. Put up signs. They are a lot more likely to respect you putting up signs than to tag buildings. Because, and here's a fact, if you want to be treated equally, tagging a building is technically a criminal offense. If I were to tag a building, I would get charged. If I'm going to treat you equally, you get tagging up a building, you should be charged. But, if you put it up like a paper sign or something, they're less likely to throw a fit about it. I have seen signs up on things that were literally years past and nothing done about it. But tagging it is something that actually lowers the value. And if you're doing it in minority neighborhoods, you are adversely affecting the property values of your minority neighbors. So here's, here's impactful ways of moving the conversation. Utilize, uh, utilize paper signs, press and social media, that is another wonderful uh, thing to use. 
And if you get into an interview, please try to avoid profanity. Talk about the issues. I have seen some real good interviews, and I would love to see more. These little things that I'm talking about are not meant to discourage you from protesting, but as tools to help you further your cause. Now, that being said, if I ever decided to run for office, one of the first things I would be doing is looking at the policies and how are they designed and how do they affect each group and is there a pathway to um, getting the, that equal equality that we're looking for.